Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca. If this is your first time here, please consider joining my YouTube family and press that subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it so that you're notified when I put new content out every week on Lux Life and Anything Girly. So guys, today's video is a handbag reveal. I did not purchase this from Fashion File, but um, when I purchased this from my friend, she no longer had the original dust bag for it. So I just um, have this old one from Fashion File that I keep it in. So a little bit of a backstory. I purchased this bag from one of my good friends that I met through you know, buying my bags online on Facebook and selling some of my handbags online on Facebook as well. I think we've known each other for since 2019 now. Um, she's been such an amazing friend to me. Um, she is one of my original bag ladies, per se, the person that I would talk to about bags. She lived and breathed this stuff. So without further ado, let me show you what I got from her. So like I said, this is not a bag from Fashion File, but from a friend. There she is, guys. She sold me her Chanel medium large double flap. Um, the classic, obviously. Um, it is in caviar hardware, uh, caviar leather with silver hardware. And she is in, I would say, very good condition. She doesn't have any corner rubs, but she does have a... Uh, one rub over here and I think that's from this um, knob just kind of pressing it down um, but this bag you guys you guys know that I wanted a colored um, classic flap I you know I I want I want I want I want so many things but as far as getting a classic flap from Chanel that was not gonna break the bank at least for me um, this was the best way to go. First of all, I don't have a light pink bag, so this checks off my list. Um, second, uh, my friend sold it to me with uh, basically for what she got it for at that time. So this was not $7,000 or $6,000. I got it less than $4,000. Um, the bag itself is still very structured. Um, you can see that the puffs are still very, very puffy. The turn lock works well. The back, um, there's no, there's no, uh, I usually see wear here, like um, scratching from the person wearing it. There's nothing like that on this bag. And like I told you guys, the corners are absolutely pristine on this bag. So she just sold it to me because she has not reached for it for quite some time. So this has the pocket up top and I actually conditioned this bag already and cleaned it um, or wiped it down, you guys. So she feels really, really good. Um, I keep, I'm a nerd. I keep paper back there so that the leather doesn't stick onto each other since I never really probably will use that pocket. But I already have an organizer for her from Zumoni. Now this specific organizer I got a long time ago because I knew I was gonna purchase this bag from her. I got it back when I purchased my keep all organizer using Madame MM's code. Thank you, Madam MM, for that code. That was really useful. But this is the organizer that I keep in here. So there's the inside. And let me show you guys how nicely it fits in there. So fits really nicely. It did come, she did have the, the authenticity card. And she also had this kind of booklet in there. So I also, again, I'm a weirdo, I have another paper in there so that the leather doesn't stick onto each other. But yeah, this is one of my dream bags. I've actually used her since I purchased this bag from her. I absolutely love this color and I am 
hoping that I would get another classic in the future, but with their prices right now, I'm most likely not gonna buy um, brand new just because I can put my money towards something else. Like if you purchase this from a reseller right now, this would probably cost around $5,500. But since I purchased it from a friend who is not really looking into um, making money, but otherwise rehoming her bags, and she sold it to me specifically to me for that price because she knew that I would take care of it like it was my own, you know. And you guys know how I am with my bags. I don't, I don't baby them per se, but at the same time, I take care of them. I clean them. I don't, you know, I look at the weather, make sure it's not going to rain. If it's bad, that's going to get water spots and stuff like that. So now I can say I have a pink bag in my collection. So let's do some odd shots so that I can show you guys what um, this looks like on me and um, we'll go from there. for um, letting me adopt this baby from you. And um, I've already told her that this bag will most likely not ever, 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 ever gonna leave my collection just because number one, I purchased it from a friend, um, one of my original friends from just loving bags. And um, number two, I will never find this bag for the price that um, she sold it to me for. Um, I've already looked this bag over, you guys, and other than the, the, the bump over here that I've already kind of told you about, see, it's kind of bowing out. And I've made a note to make sure that when I close it, I kind of hold it like this. As far as usability of this bag, um, it's a lover hate, I would say. Um, I love the bag because it's a classic Chanel bag, but at the same time, this bag doesn't really fit that much. And in addition to that, the double flap um, thing is quite annoying when you're trying to close it. And I'm assuming that's why a lot of these bags that are used will come with some wear over here because of where this button is. So I love it per se, I love the look of it, but as far as usability, I would say it's more of a medium. You definitely have to um, know that you're using this bag and you're gonna use it so that if you do something to it, you don't regret it. Because I definitely don't want to not use this bag just because of how much it is or um, also, you know, this, this color is pretty sought after, I would say. Um, I've seen some with the gold hardware, those are super cute too, but I have very, I, I think I only have three bags in my collection, oh, four bags in my collection that have silver hardware, the rest of them have gold, so I'm glad that I have this, um, you know, this combination in my collection. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Bye.